The budget speech presented today by the finance minister has far-reaching implications for science, technology, and innovation. First of all, there is the announcement of the implementation of the National Research Foundation. This has an outlay of about 50,000 crores over the next five years and will take research across the spectrum from atoms to astronomy, from history to social science, to culture, to music and arts across our country. This will greatly increase the footprint of research and is sorely needed. The second major announcement relates to the deep ocean. In a manner similar to the exploration of outer space, the deep ocean mission will explore the depths of the ocean from its geology, from its ocean currents to its marine biology, and look at it from the perspective of sustainable development. This will open up extraordinary new avenues for technology development in a sustainable manner. The next major mission is the hydrogen mission, and the hydrogen mission is very important today in the context of climate change and for having energy in a manner which is storable and deployable in every part of our country. This will take energy such as solar energy and convert it to green hydrogen and deploy it for many, many applications, including uh, fertilizers and for transportation. Another major mission is the natural language mission. This aims to make accessible every aspect of our work from our judiciary, from our government, from research, available to everyone in their native language in addition to English. This empowers people and gives access to them for all what is happening in government and research and knowledge systems all over the world. So these are some very major missions. In addition to this, there have been great inputs coming in from this budget speech into various important sectors. Another major area of investment announced is in the health systems. There will be several new national institutes for virology, several new BSL-3 laboratories, and this will give great impetus to the field of virus research. There will also be a One Health Institute, which looks at health from the perspective of animals and humans and agriculture all together. So these are very important investments in health. In addition to this, there are investments which have been announced in textiles. There will be seven textile zones in a manner similar to successful medtech zones, and these will give a great impetus to R&D and manufacturing in the textile sector. Nutrition is a very important area, and portion two, which will amplify the ongoing portion of Bihan to include measures of nutrition across our country and ensure better delivery, particularly to the aspirational districts, is a major uh, area of focus. We are today in a world where the handling of waste, the requirement for clean water, and dealing with air pollution are very important. And there have been major investments in these three areas which will require science and technology intervention particularly the handling of legacy waste and air pollution are major areas, and also integrating with the Jal Jeevan mission to ensure that clean water is delivered on tap to both rural and urban areas. So with this, we have a great opportunity to take science, technology, and research in general from its most fundamental aspects into applications in society. To further facilitate this, the finance minister announced that there will be nine clusters of institutions in nine cities which will work together through an umbrella structure which doesn't compromise the autonomy of the institutions in that umbrella but allows them to work together in a synergistic manner to do uh, good research to the economy and to society. Thank you.